How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Body beat down here, Michael, on this hump day afternoon. Hump day. So, as you can tell, yes, we're going to be doing some deadlifts, and yes, we're going to be doing elevated deadlifts um, because I feel like it. So, uh, you know that I use these as part of my part of my training method. Uh, with my deadlifts and that so i enjoy doing them for a couple of reasons because uh, they do work in helping to get me past sticking points which is why i finally pulled my 500 pound deadlift from the floor i've done it two times now and also it it's nice to not have to worry about loading the bar it's easy it's up off the floor a couple of inches so it makes uh, doing the weights pretty easy for me and uh, there's just a lot of benefits a lot of benefits and the mental game because I know I'm not going to be doing anything completely stupid probably maybe maybe so I'm not going to be pushing myself too hard today um, as far as my deadlift goals I met my long-term deadlift goal of 500 pounds on New Year's Eve and I've done it again since so and that's from the floor uh, so I don't really have any big goals as far as my deadlifts go. Uh, I had two more sort of goals that I wanted to do, but I don't know if I'm going to even go for them at this point because I don't have the lungs for it anymore for whatever reason. Uh, but that's doing 315 for 20 from the floor and 405 for 10 from the floor. Um, I don't know if I'm going to really worry about those at this point. You know, it's just a lot. That's a lot of stress. And most people are not doing those kind of reps with that kind of weight or any kind of weight on deadlifts. Most people don't do reps. So uh, I've already done 225 for 30. I have done 315, I think, for 17. And I have done 405 for 9. So uh, as far as goals go, uh, I'm pretty set on my deadlifts. So whatever I do at this point in time is just extra icing on the cake. So let's go ahead and get going. I have a couple of the things that I want to uh, talk about or, you know, and announce and kind of do in this video as we go. So let's go ahead and get our elevated deadlifts going. 135. Woo. Get this done. Get a shower done. We're going to go out to eat. Have a good night. Here we go. Deadlifts. Let's get them done, guys. I'm done. I'm just kidding. So uh, tomorrow I got a doctor's appointment. If any of you keep up with my channel for any amount of time, you know that I've had uh, kind of a health issue pop up about a year ago, a year and a half, two years, whatever it's been at this point. Uh, and if you've heard the story, you can tune out. But anyway, I have a low blood platelet count and uh, I really wasn't given any sort of real answers. It was just kind of let's wait and see. Keep checking up and wait and see. And uh, well, it's been a long time since I've been back for a checkup because I was not pleased with kind of how things were going. So, but anyway, tomorrow I got an appointment with my um, primary care doctor, and I'm going to tell her that I want her to refer me to a doctor that I found here in. Our town, which is literally two minutes down the road, uh, who specializes in cancer and stuff like that, and uh, see if I can get in there and maybe get some work done and get some explanations a little bit better. And um, I guess best best case scenario is 
you know, uh, they get things checked out and maybe things are looking a little better. I don't know. Um, you know, so we'll see how it goes and uh, I'll keep everybody informed of what's going on uh, once I find some stuff out. So anyway, let's get set number two of 135 done. Set number two. So touching base. Uh, kind of touching base on goals again. <clears throat> now I stopped working out in late 2010. And uh, back then I wasn't dedicated, devoted, passionate about working out the way I should have been. I'd miss a lot. I didn't push myself right. Uh, my diet was just a great American diet. Uh, Eat whatever you want, as much as you want, anytime you want it. Um, and I stopped working out. And I knew back then, and, this, and since then, really, you know, I've had a lot of time to think since 2010. So, I have a lot of what I like to call unfinished business. And I have taken care of most all that business now. Um... And then a little bit more. So I still have a little bit of unfinished business to take care of in this journey here. And once I take care of that business, things may change. I may change up some things. I have no idea. I'm just kind of spitballing ideas in my own brain here. So, um, yeah. Uh, so it's been, it's, this journey here has been kind of a, uh, uh, make up for what you didn't do when when you were younger kind of a journey and that's kind of how I'm looking at it these days I've been kind of thinking about it here lately and so uh, that's kind of what I'm what I'm calling this is kind of uh, taking care of business unfinished business you know so let's go ahead and do some 225. Unfinished business. Fifteen. <clears throat> All right, we're at four hundred and five, guys. Let's go ahead and get a rip of this. All right, before we get to a really heavy set here, we're going to do a quick channel shout out uh, to some channels here. In no particular order, it's just the way I wrote them down from uh, looking at YouTube. So uh, here's some shout outs, guys, and these are some channels that I want you to go check out. Subscribe to, let them know I sent you over there, because uh, that lets them know that I'm 
uh, watching and I'm promoting them and helping them out. So let's uh, shout out a few channels here. We have Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. We have Big J's Knives. We have, we have Last Chance Knives. We have Boston Blade Reviews. We have Runner Boy. Sheaky Baby. Clarksville Barbell Club. Uh, I don't know exactly how to say her name, but I'm going to spell it out first. O A N A S T A Y Fit. Onasta or something like that. Stay fit. Um, we have Elite Effort. We have Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. We have Trey Engel. And then we have little Miss Worm following up on the end here. Miss Worm. So I'm not going to say much more about it because if I do, it'll take an hour on the video. All good channels, all people I support, and they support me. All good people. Go check them out, guys. And now, let's go ahead and do uh, 475. 475. We got 35s on the end. Four forty fives and the bar is forty five. We got four seventy five. Four seventy five. We're going to pull this with well, no problem, guys. Easy. Four seventy five. Too. Very happy with that. I do get a little wobbly, a little wobbly dobbly sometimes on my heavier sets, just kind of the way my mechanics work, but I get it done. 475, guys. All right, I'm going to give 500 a try. We got 2.5 on the end, we got a 10. We got 35, 445s and the bar is 45. Let's get 500, guys. 500 should be easy. 500. and then we'll do a finished set of 225. Power. All right, so let's do a set of 315 from the floor.
right, guys, we're going to finish up with a set of 225. Last set, 225. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright guys, just like that we're done with our deadlift day. Really happy with what I did today. Uh, really, really happy. Considering a couple days ago I said I was just going to go and take it easy Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because I didn't feel so great. And now here I am doing something crazy, you know, doing this. So, and uh, yesterday's workout was really good too. So, uh, you just kind of never know what's going to happen. Uh, if you're under the weather, it could lift and you could be back to 100% pretty quick. So, especially if you take care of yourself on the regular. So, I try to take care of myself and if I get the sniffles or a sore throat or a headache or something, it's whatever, you know, I tend to do okay pretty quick. So, anyway, uh, that 475 for two kind of blew my brain at that point. As I was going down for the first rep, I said, I'm going to do two. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do two. And I get it. It's elevated. I'm two inches higher than what I'd normally be. But it's still an extreme pull, an extreme lift, extreme workout, heavy weights that most people will never do. So doing that for two reps was pretty surprising and uh, pretty crazy. And then to go ahead and put uh, the rest of the plates on and go to 500 for a rep. I couldn't ask for any better, guys. That's crazy. But then I go and up the ante just a smidgen in a different way, and I put the barbell, I put the weights on the floor, and I do my two last sets from the floor. So I did 315 for 10 and 225 for 10, which was really great considering. So anyway, overall a great workout, guys. Uh, you never know when you're gonna surprise yourself. So yeah, like I said, uh, I talked about a few things in the video. So if you forgot some of the stuff, go back and watch again and kind of uh, get a refresher. And uh, you know, especially with the channels that I shouted out, uh, make sure you check out all their channels and uh, make sure you tell them I sent you. And uh, I think you'll you'll find that they're all really awesome. So anyway, guys, I'm getting done with this video. I gotta go shower and we're gonna go out and eat. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael, your incredible host on this hump day. Hump day. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. We'll see you next time on the body beat down. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.